Climate change is real. 97% of the climate scientists agree that humans are causing global warming. But if you ask a normal person on the street, it is a 50-50 debate. Why is this? It is because of the political conservatists who deny climate change because they don't really like things to change. They don't like to have regulations. They cherry pick data and somehow twist the facts to make it look like climate change isn't real. Media isn't doing a good job either. It presents a balanced view of both the sides. This structure reinforces the idea that there are two equal sides. It doesn't teach people the science properly and gives equal time to ideas that are wrong. This makes people think that it is too early to act. This video is to spread awareness and let all people out there know that climate change is real and it is happening right now. 97% of the scientists think so. NASA also has a special page showing the evidence on climate change. Let me also quote IPCC which said, Scientific evidence for warming of climate is unequivocal. The National Academy of Sciences from 80 different countries agree that humans are causing global warming. If this can't convince you my friend, I don't know what will. Let me show you some data from published scientific journals that will serve as concrete evidence to show you that humans are causing global warming. It is evident from data here that the heat content is rising. The ratio of record highs to record lows in temperature in the previous decades is shown here and it has gone up in the recent past. The data here shows that the global sea level is rising. Over the past few decades, Greenland has gone from no change to losing 300 cubic kilometer every year. Temperature change is happening. We got similar results from multiple proxies used by scientists which means that the data is very reliable. This change is not because of the volcanoes. We didn't see any volcanic eruptions in the recent past. It's not due to the internal variability of Earth. We measure it and it is not changing much. It is not due to the Sun because we can measure the sunlight reaching Earth through satellites outside the Earth's atmosphere and it isn't changing. So the change must be due to humans. More number of shrinking glaciers than growing. The current change in ocean pH is faster than any other time in the past 65 million years. This change in pH has already started affecting the coral reefs. The climate models also predict that things are going to get worse. And a few climate scientists are being attacked by the climate science denialists. The attack is typically not on science, but the denialists send hate emails, they send complaints to the university and hack their emails. They go after the scientists, go after their integrity, go after their funding and make life more miserable for them. Professor Michael Mann, a climatologist, received a letter in mail which had some white powder and he had to report it to the FBI. So John Cook, the author of the 97% consensus paper, decided that he needs to get the facts straight and started a website called skepticalscience.com. All the climate change myths are debunked by presenting facts and scientifically proven data on this website check it out. Finally, I would like to reiterate that climate change is real and we need to act right now. For more insights, take the online course on making sense of climate denial on edX.